Hi guys, we wanted to make a quick video about our Harrop Eaton e-locker and clear up a few of the facts about the engagement mechanism and what actually happens when you're out on the trail. I've got Sebastian, our design engineer, we're going to talk through the functionality and clear up some of the misconception that's out there on social media. So Seb, we've got two of our display stands here. One of them is the common one that we use a windscreen wiper motor to make it dynamic and for it to turn. Let's talk through the way the e-locker actually engages. Okay, quite simply, we've got a 12 volt uh, electromagnet here, which activates up on a load plate, which pushes the, the pins up against the lockup plate, which engages the gear to the housing. And we've got a spring back here, which returns. So just quickly, we'll just give this a whirl. We'll engage the magnet as it comes round, and you can see the pins come across push the lock-up plate into the housing, into the gear, and everything's locked up. So taking a look at some of the disassembled components, we've got the housing here, which is nodular iron, fully machined at Harrop. This is the lock-up plate. This lock-up plate locates against the housing, these dog rings. And then the side gear, which is a forged unit, sits in here like this. And that's the locking mechanism right there. Now let's take a look at what actually happens out on the field and we've modified one of our display rigs to take away the electric motor and get a crank handle and demonstrate once we're engaged if we change direction. So what we've got is an open diff at the moment. We'll just engage the magnet and the e-locker will engage. That's going either forward or reverse depending on what position you're going. Now when changing direction, it just goes back and the locker's re-locked again. Just show that again, backwards forwards, backwards and forwards. Disengaged, it's open each way. Now the realities of when you're out on the track is wheels are articulated, tyre pressures are sometimes different and the environment is not such that the vehicle's completely unloaded. The, the, the wheels won't be doing the same, same circumference so you're always going to have bind in the system. Even though the axles are made of fairly rigid material, they do twist up. Once that's twisted up, it goes right through the e-locker and the, the gears actually bind up against the housing so that unit one disengage. And it's worth pointing out, Eaton previously had a two pinion design which actually used pins to engage on the housing before they actually had a lock up plate. There's some videos that have been circulated with the previous technology. The new technology with four pinions uses a lock up plate against the side gears. That's correct, which is a unit that we've never actually manufactured here at Harrop Engineering. Yeah, so to confirm, all of the Harrop units are the latest generation four pinion design with a lock up plate against the forged side gear and the nodular iron housing. So while we look at that range of movement, in the vehicle we're seeing the wheels move, what, six inches? If that, depending on the diameter of your wheel, yes. And the lock ring, in most cases, is going to remain engaged, or if it does slide out, it slides back into the same dog in one movement. That's correct, yes. So hopefully that clears up some of the confusion. Eaton developed this technology for military and OEM applications. Harrop is the master distributor with a full range of lockers for most popular vehicles. For more information, contact Harrop or check out our website, harrop.com.au.